Yo, what's going on boys? It's your boy Rada. Welcome back to another video today. So today we're going to be exploring the opportunities of creating a custom Fortnite skin in Blender using Photoshop and Blender. This video is going to be quite a, hopefully a quick one, but hopefully very explanative of what you need to do and how to do it. I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to customize them, easiest way to change colors of the shirts, pants, arms, all that good stuff. Add your logos, add some pizzazz, some fire, you know? uh before this video starts can we hit a five likes please i know it's a massive goal we've been smashing the like goals recently and um thank you guys so much for all the support but without further ado let's get straight into this video all right guys so like i said in the intro we will be uh exploring the opportunities of custom skins in fortnite and how to render them out so in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to import a skin to Blender, the easiest way to grab the textures and cut them in a photo editing software, how to color your t-shirts and stuff like that. I'm going to give you guys a free Lightroom, which is the one that I'm going to be personally using for this video. It's amazing. It's an easiest way to start off. All you have to do is import your models into this room and just light it up, you know, render it out. Uh, we're going to go over some render settings and how to make things transparent. And I want to see some of your guys work. So if you guys make some stuff, I want to see them on Twitter, Instagram, even reply, Snapchat, wherever you put them. I want to see them. I want to see them. All right, guys. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to boot up Blender. Blender's free on Steam. Uh, I don't think this works with any other platform, but Blender's the easiest way to do it. It's the most high quality. So you want to boot up Blender. And then once you boot up Blender and you have, and if you guys have chosen to use the room that I'm going to leave in my Discord for you guys to download, um, all you have to do is go up to File click append find out where your models are saved so what i like to do is i like to save them on my desktop under a folder called blender skins uh find the skin that you want so for this video we are going to be using the bandits clinical crosser that i've already made uh you want to go to object and you want to find the one that says the skin so once you click on that obviously it's going to load it straight into blender so if i go and render this right now which i'm not going to it will show all the skins if you want to see what it looks like Come up to the top right and where it says viewport shading click on that it will load and you'll be able to see the skins the thing what are those? don't mind her boots <laughs> but you'll be able to see the things that are on the skin so if you guys want to know how to put custom jerseys on it stick around all right so the way you find the textures for the skin which is what you need to do you need to find the flat out version of the texture that you want to edit so the easiest way to do that is you want to come over to the right hand side you want to undo this and you want to click on where it says the skin's name you want to go up to the top here and you'll see a tab called shading so when you click on this it'll bring open this big menu here now this might look a bit sketchy and a bit scary for some people that are first time doing this but it's actually very easy so what you want to do once you see this big menu and i'm going to have to show you with another one for the sake of this video but when you come on to one of these boxes now these boxes doesn't matter if you move them doesn't matter what you do with them but what you want to do is you want to find the one that says dot d now this one says m because it's a different one i've already changed the mesh for the other one but what you want to do is you want to come over to unpack item and now you want to write you want to click on write file to current directory now what this is going to do is this is going to open another folder in the folder where your blender skin is saved it'll be called textures and you will be able to just go into that folder and you will be able to okay so this is where all my um blender skins are saved so what you want to do is you want to you'll see this new file called textures come up and you'll see that we uh exported the file soccer body underscore m so we should be able to find soccer body underscore m right here so you'll find this here so the next step for this to get it to look like this all right i'm going to show you guys how to do this all right so you want to make sure you have this this set somewhere where you can grab it i'm going to put it off the screen for now the next step is to open a photo editing software i'm going to use photoshop for the sake of this tutorial but there are free ones that you can use to do this uh, which are very simple and easy to use so i'm going to show you guys how to quickly edit and grab out t-shirts pants and edit them like a professional all right guys so i have photoshop open right now as you can see i've got a few other pieces of work that i've worked on recently uh, now what you want to do is you want to make sure you have that file that I talked about 
in your cursor and you want to just drag it straight over into Photoshop or what other editing software you're using and you'll see it pop out like this now it might take a little while for you to figure out where things are what I like to do is I like to grab all the blue parts and change them to a certain color or put numbers on parts of the things to know where they are so for the sake of this video I'm not gonna go crazy we're just gonna grab the t-shirt like this and we're gonna go copy we're gonna layer it via a copy and what we're gonna do is just gonna go into here and we're gonna give it a color overlay so I know this is a t-shirt because I've done it priorly but we are gonna just make this thing let's make it a weird color let's make it green no we'll make it like a really light pasty green so we'll make it green like this and if you want to add logos I'm gonna tell you right now just look at the way that this is situated this is the collar so the collar is pointing this way which means this is the front of the t-shirt that's the back um these are the pants and the shoes are kind of iffy but if you really want to take some time and make an amazing skin you can use this the shoes change the shoes up for the sake of this i'm just going to show you how to do the t-shirt so what you want to do is you want to put some logos on the t-shirt i'll just grab some logos all right so i couldn't find a logo so we're just going to go with a emote that i've made for one of my subscribers uh we're going to go over here like this and it's it's a picture of some bongos so we're gonna put some bongos on this t-shirt so this bongo goes about here now if you wanted to get really really creative with this you probably could but for the sake of this i'm just going to show you how it works so leave me alone um this bongo is here now all you have to do is you have to go down here and you have to export this make sure when you're exporting this you export it as safe for web legacy you want to click on original uh, zoom out if you want to make sure you can see everything but you should be able to and then you go save um for the sake of this video i'm going to call it custom skins video the image but i'm going to save it into a folder where i know it is uh you just hit save it'll render out now you can close photoshop you don't need to save anything else in there uh when you open blender again what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the one that you changed which for our sake in this video is going to be this one right here so what you want to do is you want to click this folder icon here and you want to find where you saved it so we saved it in so this is the png that we saved so once we click on this it'll change the name of this and it will open it into this now all you have to do is you want to go back out to layout and as you can see there's a bongo on the skin all right now for the sake of this we are going to change the way she looks so what you want to do is you want to have the whole character selected we're going to click up the top left go into pose mode and we are just going to move her arms out of the way so that we can see the logo that we have made don't mind her she's just a bit she woke up on the wrong side of the bed right boys <laughs> and what you want to do is you want to click render image now you'll see the effect of this lightroom very very shortly it is such a nice lightroom it's so easy to use I will leave it in my discord in the description below if you guys want to use it as you can see it is rendering out with the bongos on the t-shirt the color is vibrant it is nice and i mean how good does that look man you can make some amazing things with these don't mind um she's again working up on the wrong side of the bed you can make some amazing things with these uh you can put your team logo on there you can make little um you can make team fan animations uh skins and everything like that yeah that's gonna do it for the video guys it's been your boy Rada. thank you guys so much for watching remember the links to all of these can be found in my discord which is in the description below i hope you guys have had a, a good time watching this video and hopefully if you're doing something new make sure to smash a like let's drop a sub and stay gorgeous uh, bye